Welcome to Twisted League episode 3. If you don't know what Twisted League is, make sure to check episode 1. I'm just having a ton of fun on this league, so I hope you join me on this adventure. Hope you enjoy. Alright lads, we're walking ourselves over to Wintertod. First thing we gotta do is get ourselves the third relic, Eye of the Artisan. We will get double XP in Fletching, Fire Making, and Construction. So that is 3 out of the 4 skills of Wintertod. Boom, gimme that. 10 times XP Wintertod, yes please. I've been grinding for about... Let's say 30 minutes, maybe even less. Um, we start at 57, we are now 71 fire making. Just open a chest, I'm instantly opening these chests because I need the raw food. So those couple raw trouts were actually really good. I'm running out of food slowly though, so I might have to go fishing in a bit. But we'll see how far we get. Maybe we get, I think, let's, let's say we can get 82 fire making without having to go fish. All right, this winter dot kill just gave us 80 fire making. We're rocking a solid 2 million XP per hour right now. It's absolutely mental, which means 7 hours for 99 fire making. I'm slowly running out of food though, which is not ideal. Uh, we still have 13 salmons and everything I have in the bank right now. So, uh, I mean tunas and everything we have in the bank right now. So, but slowly but surely I'm going to have to go back to fishing real quick. Oi. The oh my god. I just got one casket, warm gloves and the pyromancer garb. That is insane. Holy shit, look at me. I can actually drop the Clue Hunter outfit now. Almost level 85. We're gonna get 85 with my lost inventory of tunas. What a chest. That is 85 fire making. Just got it. And ooh, that's gonna be a construction level. Oh, look at that. 25 construction. That is actually insane. All right. Um, we're done with Winter Top for a little bit because I'm out of food. 86 fire making. We're going straight for 99 this episode. But first, I'm just gonna steal this whole shop. Fish food, cook food. Get back to Winter Top. Get 99. Plan solid. Boom. We're actually going to hit 90 fire making if I can put these two. <gasps> no, no, don't ruin it. Don't ruin it, please. <sighs> All right, I'm getting it at the bank. Screw that. Special moment. Here we go. Boom. It is not even a task, I think, to get a 90 skill. No, it's not. Let's wait. I'm going to wait to claim that we get 99 fire making. Halfway to 99. And some more raw food, that's good, <laughs> so we can keep going. Just got the Bruma torch, one of the pieces I really don't need. Uh, I don't know if it's better than the fire staff, probably not, but we can now bank the fire staff. Not really an upgrade, but it's an item, so I'm happy. That is a woodcutting level, but not just a woodcutting level. That is 1,000 total level, how insane is that? 96 fire making, going to get 97, probably this game actually. Pretty insane, pretty insane. That is it, 97 fire making. <laughs> it's actually insane. The fact that I've never gotten a 99 in all of RuneScape ever, not even on RS3, and I'm about to get it into weirdest ass game mode that is here, is pretty pock champ, <laughs> let's be honest. Open this crate. Ooh, that was a big one. Oh yeah, that was because I had a thousand points. Hey, right before 99, we still got another piece. Pyromancer hood, now we only need the legs and the boots? Yeah, so the legs and the boots still. Woof, very nice, look at this setup. I'll see you guys when I hit 99, I guess. All right, boys, y'all ready to see my first RuneScape 99 ever? Here it is, the next couple of logs. <laughs> 99 fire making on the RuneScape account that has boosted XP and everything. Watch for the grats, watch for the grats. All right, no one's, no one's celebrating with me? Am I seriously alone here? All right. Let's finish this game and then actually get some farm runs going. End off with some construction XP. Absolutely perfect. 99,000 XP to end it off. <gasps> We're 9 XP from 42 construction, which is actually... I was going to say the level... Oh, no. I was going to say tool store 4 because here you can get all the uh, crafting things. Like the necklace mold, the ring mold, all that stuff. So we still need 44 construction for sure to get that game's necklace and stuff like that. We ended off with these skills. 59 woodcutting, which I should actually get up to 60. Uh, 68 fletching and 41 construction. Actually, 42. I'm going to say 42. And 99 fire making. Pretty sick. Now, I haven't checked my cash stack yet. I know I was on 50,000 when I bought those fetters. 140. We made 90k all the way to 99 fire making. Holy shit. We're gonna buy about 40k worth of feathers. I'm gonna put myself at the fishing place and we're gonna do some fishing and start our farm runs because I want to start tight farming now. Either that or mess hall. I don't know what I'm feeling just yet, but I'm feeling the grind. That's for sure. Before we do that too, I have edged myself on not using these points. We have 1,410 now, claim points. I got a lot of levels. Oh my god, 600 total points. <laughs> 
Holy shit. 410 points, still the fourth relic, which will be the clue relic. That is actually insane. Oh my god. Clue skull heart, first kill. All right, boys, time to rip. Try and safe spot the Saradoman wizard. Should be fine, but I don't know if Earth, Earth Bolt is going to be strong enough to kill it. That's the main issue. Come on, Earth Bolt, you can do it, mate. Water Battle Staff, not even bad. All right, didn't have that yet. <sighs> oh! Hard Casket. All right, we got the Hard Casket, holy shit. That is actually insane, first Hard Clue on the account. Can we get something decent, please? Let's do it. Oh my god, that is so bad. Room Pickaxe though. Room Pickaxe. I don't have to pay for it now, it's not insane, but it's pretty all right. But two other uniques, that could have been Saradoman Plate Body and Zamorak Plate Legs, it could have been way better. Room Pickaxe, poof, ah, I don't, don't know, I'll, it's alright, it's alright. It's the end of the third day for me, but not the end of the video, don't worry guys. But I am slowly closing down the client, but before I do that, I quickly want to use my herbs to make or gain a couple of herblore levels. That is 17 herblore, 18. <laughs> With just the attack pods, the literally the level 3 thing is boosting me up. I want to get base 20s tomorrow, so I'm gonna smack out range, see how far we get with that, with everything I have in my bank. I have about 500 knives. I uh, don't know how far I'll get with that, but I'm sure I'll get like level 40 or something. I'm already planting Harlanders, so I'm hoping to get up to 23, but I don't think that will be a problem. There we go. That is 27 herblore. Do we have anything else that we can use? Probably don't have the secondaries though. Do the next grind. Back to my usual AFKing ways, 70 fishing coming in. We can do leaping sturgeons, which is going to make this fishing grind a little bit faster even. 45 agility and 50 strength. It just about missed it. I was turning everything off to start recording, but that is 20 base level. I just hit 20 range and decided to use all my knives up. Just real quick, throw them out, see how much range XP we can get from all this smithing grind. I know I should be able to do chins soon for range, so that is no problem. But now I just want to throw all these knives out and see where we get. But base 20 levels, actually kind of close to base 30s. It's just Herblore and the Rune Crafting left. And those are very easy. And actually also close to base 40s, really. I am probably going to smash out either cooking or farming. We'll see, though. The day just started. I'm ready to grind. Look at that range XP. 40 range, that is another medium task completed. I think we're actually running real close on this fourth relic here. Uh, I think I have another 60 points to unlock. So slowly but surely, we're getting there. Just one more big grind and the fourth relic will be unlocked. We can start doing Slayer, getting those clues, stacking them up, and grind those high scores. And so it starts, my grind to 99 cooking. Um, I got myself some saltpeter. I just did that. Uh, I hope I got enough. I just did a random guess. I just kept doing it and see how many I got. I got 323. Woof! Where is the clerk? We have now 17.8% favor. 312. Please tell me it's enough. Oh, yes! Let's get on over to the mess hall. Okay, now the goal of the mess hall is basically find the world where no one is doing it. Because this is a horrible appreciation for when I hit 65 cooking. This is not gonna give me a lot of XP because everyone is making these pizzas. Stews are still alright, luckily. Let's see this first big XP drop. 25k, holy shit. That's another leak task done, serve 20 pizzas in the mess hall. By the way, a little change of plans, I'm going to be doing 80 cooking, since we are going to have to rush that fifth relic anyways, which is going to be double XP. And it, it makes no sense for me to go all the way to 99 now if I'm going to get double XP on that fifth relic anyway. So we're going for 80 so we can get 250 points, get another elite task out of the way, and rush that lost relic. Uh, yeah, so I was watching a live stream and I kind of went a little bit overboard and I missed one level so 81 cooking <laughs> there we go that is a big league task claim points boom new relic and you guys all know which relic I'm going to pick spirit of din let's get I'm kidding guys I'm taking the clue scroll one all right don't worry about it let's get it treasure seeker Unlocked. 2,400 points until the next relic. That is just grinding out a shit ton of levels. For some reason, I feel like doing annoying grinds today. And we're back here. I want to get 80 
thieving right now. Uh, we're really close to 76. And the plan is to go to 79 and then do 79 to 80 all on gem stalls. So I have a shit ton of gems and then I'm going to cut all those to try and get top page crafting today. We already got our first medium scroll box. We're just gonna stack them up. It's gonna be great. Every time we bank, we can bank those and then chain all those medium clues after this grind. It's gonna be great. I'm having a lot of fun doing these weird ass grinds. And I know I should be waiting for the double lost relic, but we have to get to that relic somehow, right? So that's why I'm doing these 80 grinds to try and get as many points as I can. I'm going to look into the hard and medium points in a bit to see what else is achievable. 78 thieving, little update, and finally 34 farming. We can now do tithe farm. It's probably something I will be doing tomorrow, I want to say. I'm not sure yet. Uh, but for now, I'm going to end off the day with just a little bit of fishing and maybe that 80 thieving. Yo, boys, we actually got our very first elite clue now. That is pretty insane. I'm stacking up these mediums because I'm gonna get a couple from this thieving grind I'm on right now. And it's annoying to drop the medium because there's a couple of easy steps that I will get in the future that I don't have yet. So as I said, I'm stacking up the mediums, but not the easies and the elites. We're going to check these two out in just a bit. So uh, if you look into my inventory, things kind of escalated. I have two elite clues now, <laughs> one hard clue, and an easy clue. Uh, we'll see what happens. I'll do the easy clue first. Look, I don't need endurance, gang. I've got strange fruits, all right? I don't need endurance. This is going to be the easy casket because it's always two steps because of the perk I just unlocked with the relic. That's insane. That's too easy. By the way, I killed a random man on the way to my first easy casket and it dropped me an easy bottle because every single thing that drops clues is now a one, now a one out of ten chance. Look, boom. All right. Never mind. There is only one step of an elite that I cannot do. And I didn't get it in that chest, so we got one elite casket so far. As long as we don't get the emote clue, we can do all of them. Come on, please let me get two. Might as well, Mr. Hellhound, just give me another heart clue. What do you think? All right, there we go. Doesn't matter because we have five caskets to open. I'm really starting to think that medium clues are the most difficult because of those emote clues. Anyways, we're just gonna stand here and open them. We'll start with the easy ones. <gasps> oh my god, the fashion scape is out of this world. Oh my god, yes. Yes. And the next one, some fire lighters and a mostly harmless teleport we cannot use. Heart casket, something rune, long sword, yes! And what is that? A thieving bag? Hang on, hang on! What is this? Yo, the Rune Longsword is my best in slot. I don't even have to get the Simi now. The Simi is better, but the Rune Longsword is, is great for Slayer. I can just keep doing my Slayer now. That's amazing. But this fashion scape is next level. All right, two more Elite Clues. That was a lot of Nature Runes too. Really good. Elite Clues? Oh yeah, I gotta go for the Mimic. But the thing is, I... I cannot kill it. Maybe I should put it on, I guess. Yes, I'd like to get it. All right. I hope I don't get it, though, because I can't do it in these two caskets. Oh, <gasps> what is that? A monster clue and a rune crossbow. Oh, my God. What is going on? It's a lot of coins, too. I'll take it. If we didn't do it in the first episode, we might as well do it in this one or the next one. A monster clue scroll. Lost elite. We'll drop these two teleboards. Yeah, I can't use them anyway, mate. Lost elite clue. Is it? Another monster clue, <laughs> you gotta be kidding. Room plate buddy too! Unfortunately, we cannot wear the dragon longsword. That, you need lost CD4, but that is a very good alk. That is a very good alk. Another monster clue though, holy shit. That is insane. I guess time to start the very first monster clue ever. And uh, the first step is talk to guild monster Lars in the woodcutting guild. That is one woodcutting level. I can do that. I have 100% Hosidia's favor already, so that is no problem. So let's head over there and just cut some trees around it. There we go, that is 60 woodcutting. Now let's meet up with Lars. I didn't even know that was a leak task. Oh, that's pretty stupid, because if I knew that, I would have gotten it a little bit earlier. It's a lot to do. Okay, first monster step. Every single monster step uh, or clue will have six steps for me. Always at the absolute minimum. Uh, I don't know how to do this, so I'm just going to click stuff. I'm putting this monster clue on the back burner for a little bit, because that cabbage wizard is going to give me a hard time. All right, we'll get to it very soon. And there we go, boys. We have done enough AFKing to be able to get leak points for it. 80 fishing we can now call in catch infernal eels. I don't know why I always say that because those things are kind of irrelevant. But that's another 80 skill to get to the tasks list. Boom. All right, that didn't even budge. Now, um, we're going for that 80 thieving. First, 
We got two clues to do. Back from that clue hunting. By the way, guys, watch this. Your boy, rank one elite clues, about to strengthen that position with this elite clue. <laughs> Pretty insane, actually. Finally, I'm rank one in clues for some... What the fuck is that? Oh. Never mind. First open the easy clue. What do we get? A black plate body. I do have a rune one, so that is not useful at all. But then the elite clue. Um, that's hero's quest, right? Oh, that's so unfortunate. That would have been my best spec weapon for Serachnus. Serac yeah, the elite clue was not great. I cannot use that, so we'll drop that unless that alks for anything. Wait, I can make a whole crystal key. Maybe that alks for something. Nope. Absolutely not. Ladies and gentlemen, we're about to hit 80 thieving, which is another big hard task in the uh well the league tasks i guess if i can actually successfully pickpocket this chest that'd be great for that lost level boom 80 thieving when we get teleported out now we'll be going for tithe farm another beautiful tasks out of the way